battle station is heavily shielded and carries a firepower greater than half the Starfleet. Its defenses are designed around a direct, large-scale assault. A small, one-man fighter should be able to penetrate the outer defense. Pardon me for asking, sir, but what good are snub fighters going to be against that? Well, the Empire doesn't consider a small, one-man fighter to be any threat, or they'd have a tighter defense. An analysis of the, the computer display in this scene from Star Wars is actually a piece of film being reprojected onto the screen. In the tape you're about to see, I will describe how I used a real computer to animate this effect. My assignment was to simulate the pilot's mission with a point of view shot from the approach to the flight down the trench at the surface of the Death Star and match the reality of the other special effects. Unfortunately, this reality had not been created at the time my effect was needed. For the approach, I worked from this photograph of the matte painting of the Death Star and created a computer picture by combining a number of circles and arcs. rotate this figure and change its size by rotating dials. This computer drawn picture is being animated and controlled in real time. To complete the shot, I had to continue the pilot's view of the Death Star to include the flight down the trench to the target at the end. The trench shown in the film was made up of hundreds of models like this one. Six basic shapes were used to form an actual trench 40 feet long. I worked from one each of the six basic modules and these photographs of the trench as it was being constructed. First, a computer representation of each basic module is made. This process is called digitizing because numbers are used to indicate line endpoints. A photograph of each model is placed on a data tablet. As the pin is pressed, the XY coordinates, or the position of that point, is entered into memory. The object being created appears on the screen, and a cursor indicates the current position of the pin. The height of the point, or Z-coordinate, is entered separately by selecting one of the function buttons. Another button specifies whether or not a line is drawn between points, and the display reflects this choice. No more adventures. I'm not going that way. To monitor the construction in three dimensions, the object can be rotated with dials. With the six basic modules stored in the computer, I wrote a program to combine these modules into larger structures. My computer version of the trench 
was constructed of U-shaped sections placed side by side. To make one of these sections, I recall a digitized module and position it using the dials. Then I add a second module and continue in this way until the U is formed. This completed figure can now be moved as a unit. To complete the trench, over 50 U-shaped sections were constructed in this manner and stored. This unstable image is a time-lapse videotape of the actual filming process. Each shape is shown in perspective and combined with four others to form a single frame, which takes about two minutes in real time. After the frame is completed, the program cues the camera and then exposure is made. 2,000 exposures later, this unedited version is the result. The battle station is heavily shielded and carries a firepower greater than half the Starfleet. Its defenses are designed around a direct, large-scale assault. A small, one-man fighter should be able to penetrate the outer defense. Pardon me for asking, sir, but what good are snub fighters going to be against that? Well, the Empire doesn't consider a small, one-man fighter to be any threat, or they'd have a tighter defense. An analysis of the plans provided by Princess Leia has demonstrated a weakness in the battle station. The approach will not be easy. You're required to maneuver straight down this trench and skim the surface to this point.